Hey everybody, I um, wanted to just do a quick video on um, how you can create resizable user interfaces in LabVIEW. Um, so most modern user interfaces are able to rescale with different um, you know, computer size, mo monitor sizes, but also, you know, if someone has the application maximized and then they, you know, shrink that size down, um, you know, you want your application to be able to scale with it. Um, so really with this, splitters are going to be your friend. Um, so if you go to layout, and there's different styles of these, right? So modern has its own, um, NXG has its own, so yeah. Um, but we will want to Basically, there's horizontal splitters and vertical splitters. So these are going to be your friend. Um, first, I just wanted to show, right, we can create a graph. And if I, you know, rescale this, well, it doesn't rescale with the um, screen at all. Um, a simple thing you can do is just fit control to, to the pane. And you can see that automatically checked this scale object with pane. So now, as I resize this UI, it will automatically um, resize the chart to fit the screen. So yeah, whether I you know maximize, you know reduce to some size, etc. So that's simple. If you have like one thing on the, the control or on your panel, sorry. Um, in this case, I just have a single graph. Um, but some, rarely do you have just something like that. So sometimes you have multiple things. Um, sometimes you have stuff that doesn't scale well. So I will say certain LabVIEW controls and indicators scale well and some do not. So um, typically you want to leverage those that scale well for your scaling and keep the other ones static. So splitters are how you're going to accomplish this. So let's set up a vertical splitter. So this is what a splitter will look like. Um, I can resize the width of that. I can change the color of it, etc. I can drag it and move it. Um, yeah. Um, so let's set this graph to fit control to pane. So now you can see it only fits this right pane. So um, everything over here, I can then do whatever I want with. Um, and this pane is kind of its own thing. Um, so I'm able to um, add maybe some buttons over here, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so maybe I've got some buttons, stuff that I don't necessarily want to scale um, because, yeah, buttons just don't scale all that well. Um, if I right click on my splitter, um, I can see some parameters about it. So I can see um, A, the label for the splitter, um, but I can also a remove the splitter and control splitter sizing so I can say it either sticks left sticks right or sizes proportionally so sticks left means that this left panel here isn't going to resize so if I maximize this the right side um, is going to scale, uh, scale to fit the new uh, total application window size, but everything on the left stayed the same. So I can go back there. So just so you can see, I can change that to sticks right. And now this is gonna stay the fixed width, um, but these this left pane is gonna resize. Um, so that would kind of be that. And then you also have um, uh, sizes proportionally, which means both sizes, both sides of that splitter are going to resize. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, you also have, you can lock it. So locking means, you know, right now I can drag this splitter and move it. If I check that locked, um, I can no longer drag this guy. Um, so it basically locks it in a certain place. Um, from here, I can also go to splitter style and I can customize the style of the splitter that I want to be there. So if, yeah, there is, yeah, it, it's really just style, right? You can set these to different styles, different widths, different colors. Um, I also can go to the specific panes and I can customize properties of those panes. So on the left, I can set my scroll bars to either always be on, off, 
or I can set it so they're off while running, which means the scroll bars will show up when I'm editing this, but when I actually run the VI, they'll disappear. I can also set pane sizing. So I can specify um, if I want to scale all of the objects on that pane. So that means, you know, if this left pane resized, the buttons would actually get bigger and or smaller, depending on what the, the pane is doing. Um, I can scale objects while resizing. So that means, you know, like before, if you saw when I was dragging the graph, um, it, um, the pane would get bigger. And then once I actually let go of the mouse, it would resize. This would basically set it so as I'm dragging, it would basically expand with it. Um, I can just define where the origin is, whether that's top or bottom, and left and right. Just deciding how stuff is going to scale. Um, yeah, and I can do the same stuff with the right pane. So, um, th yeah, that's kind of the basics of splitters. Um, and you can do stuff like, so let's add a, let's go NXG style. Let's add a horizontal splitter there. And let's add a string indicator um, there. So let's hide the label um, and let's fit the control to pane. Let's fit this control to the pane. And we're going to set our splitter such that it sticks on the bottom. So what this will allow us to do is now um, we can have like a text box that's displayed below our graph that's always there. It's only gonna uh, scale side to side, so it'll get longer vertically, but it doesn't actually change um, its uh, horizontal size, just the graph will resize. So you can create as many splitters as you want in your user interface um, and just define the different behavior. So that way you can define the custom behavior for certain stuff. And like I said, some controls scale really well and some do not. So um, I'll just really quick review which ones I think scale well. So anything numeric usually doesn't scale very well. Um, so you can um, do set up some scaling with, you know, numeric controls and indicators. Um, typically though, you don't need it to really rescale, right? You know, um, you usually have it sized for a certain amount of digits and it can only really fit that many. Um, but yeah, you can set it to resize if you want to. Uh, a lot of this meter gauge dial knob stuff, it's all pretty bad at rescaling at, yeah, resizing. Um, the Horizontal and vertical can be okay, but they're not fantastic. Um, Boolean, most of this stuff does not scale super nicely. Um, so it doesn't keep good proportions. Um, so yeah, you can get some funky looking buttons and stuff if you set these to resize. Um, strings do pretty good. Um, uh, so yeah, like I had showed, I have a string down here. Um, arrays aren't the best. Um, they can work, but they're not fantastic. Same with clusters. Um, list boxes do rescale really, or resize really well, along with multi-column list boxes and tables. Um, the big thing I've noticed is when you rescale either multi-column list boxes or tables, um, it will expand the table, but it doesn't actually change the um, size of your columns and rows. So um, if you want your columns and rows to expand with your panel, you have to do that programmatically. Um, same goes for trees as well, actually. So all three of these, they fill that um, resize space really nicely, but they, um, if you want the actual uh, columns and stuff to be resizing with that, um, you're going to have to programmatically do that. Um, anything graph chart, you know, wise, it rescales pretty nicely. Um, Rings and enums aren't the best for rescaling. They can get a little funky. Um, uh, um, yeah, and then same thing for like images, 2D pictures. Um, they do rescale fine, but it doesn't actually change the picture resizing, right? So and you can resize the picture programmatically using like the zoom factor, but if you do much resizing with those pictures, it actually makes the pictures look all pixelated and weird. So don't really recommend it all that much. Um, but yeah, um, so that would kind of be some basics of using splitters to create resizable UIs. Um, I wanted to just show one other thing. Um, so 
Sometimes, right, we have lots of graphs that we might want to show on the screen at a given time. So I'm going to create just a simple uh, two graph display. Um, so I'm going to set this splitter sizing to sizes proportionally. And let's set this graph to fit to the pane and fit to the pane. So now, as I resize this guy, both of my graphs resize proportionally. Um, so that's one way you can kind of have multiple graphs on a single user interface and it will resize. Um, you also can do um, other layouts a little more advanced with even more. So you can set like a horizontal there and let's set a horizontal there. Um, and we're going to set these to proportional and um, proportional. So now let's drop two more charts. Um, and fit that to the pane and fit that to the pane. Sweet. So they're not necessarily the same size at the moment, but yeah, now I can resize this. Oops. Those weren't resizing, let me fix that. Um, so yeah, that way I can resize basically four graphs. So, and you know, you could have configurations of like eight, you know, 16, etc., just depending on your specific uh, needs. So yeah, that would be how you can create uh, resizable user interfaces in LabVIEW. Thanks for watching. Canon Controls is your gateway to mastering LabVIEW. Dive into programming for data acquisition, industrial communications, and manufacturing automation. Explore how to enhance your projects with cybersecurity best practices. Join the journey to elevate your skills and secure your systems with every episode.